Hey guys, gals and legionnaires, Rakon here and welcome back to Let's Relax with Rimworld. So, the boys survived another attack last episode from... <laughs> um, from the Eagles. And apparently, Tico was dead easy to recruit. Logan, just first try, went in there and said, Hey look, you know, you're pretty messed up. There's a chance we may be able to help you. You know, maybe consider it. It was only a 22% chance as well, so only a little bit higher than what it was for Ben. And um, she was like, yeah, sure, okay, you, you saved me from dying, so yeah, why not? But we can see here that she's all kinds of very, very, very injured. Um, so let's hope that we can get her into a bed and actually get her recovering. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't know whether she is going to be able to recover from that, and even if she does, she, I mean, like, that's not a good move speed. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, she might not be much use to us, um, but who knows, we might be able to get her feeling better. Man, poor girl, she is messed up. So we were looking for someone to kind of, uh, be Noah. Uh, I don't know whether or not Tico is one of those people, though. Um, we'll have to see how this recovery process goes for her. Um... Now, there were others out here that we can probably look at stripping and taking things from. Namely, um, where has she gone? Oh, have we dealt with the bodies already? Wow, they did that bloody fast. Okay, so, we did have some power armor here, over here. Foster, what did you have on? Oh, right, so it's kind of like the one from, uh, uh, why is it going on my head now? It's gone, and it's not coming back. <laughs> My mind is still slightly a mess, unfortunately. Um, hopefully that isn't going to end with anyone else dying, unfortunately. Um, right, but we do want those, we want that lower half, this power armor. We want that for sure. Um, who needs it, though? Logan's probably going to be most frontline, even though it seems to be Nick that gets bloody injured all the time. Um, so we're going to get Logan to go and take those for himself. Uh, yeah, see, I'm glad we did buy the extra medicine, because if we didn't, we would be left with nothing right now. So um, I think next time around, we're going to have to try and buy some more. And it is going to mean using our silver, but I think we're just going to need to. I feel a little bit bad having Freya out here, as she's not, um, yeah, you know what, we're actually going to dig a grave for her, um, because she, she isn't one of the eagles, she doesn't deserve to be in the, uh, the kind of mass grave over there, so we're going to, we're going to treat her right, and, uh, we're going to bury her over here, so we might chuck down a couple more, train, oh, because, oh, okay, I guess it can go there, I thought because it was frozen over, that it couldn't, but I guess it's because it's marble, it's actually marble ground. Um, yes, but Logan, we need you to grab the, these, and I wonder if you can activate it, how, I mean, how do you, how do you activate them? Uh, information, the lower half of powered armor, remnants of something usually used by assault troops from advanced glitter world planets, uh, let's see, Good market value. Okay. Guess it's relatively good armor. Uh, it doesn't say how to activate it, though, however. Um, uh, maybe it needs more than just that. Maybe it needs, like, partially, like, a set or something like that. That could be the case. Right, so you had quite a lot on you. Uh, poor quality. Again, like, really shoddy quality. Probably don't need that. Um, but we will strip this last person as well. There we go. Um, right, so, let's see if we can quickly get him to work on this grave. Tico's fully healed? Holy crap, Nick, you are a bloody miracle worker. So, after all of that, unfortunately, she still does have a injury to her brain. Poor girl. Um... So, let's let's have a look at Tico, her background, and, and who she is. So, Tico is... Oh, Alicia, Tico, she is 22. 
So Alicia was a scout when she was a child, born to colonial administrators from a small imperial planet. Tico was enrolled in a youth, pl a youth program that taught military scouting skills. From that point on, she has been a joy wire artist. Tico worked in an herb world lab developing cutting edge joy wire software to maximize user pleasure. When the local government improved half, half restrictions on joy wire manufacturing, she began selling her products on the black market. So this is an old wound, so perhaps she she got that while she was working on the black market, and uh, I'm guessing maybe the eagles picked her up after that. So she is incapable of intellectual labor, dumb labor, artistic, she's slothful, uh, but steadfast. So she doesn't break easy, but um, she... Um, she unfortunately isn't all there, um, so she's not very good at talking, manipulating, moving, hearing, sight, her consciousness is, isn't great. Um, yeah, there isn't really anything we can do to fix that, especially at this stage, um, which is really unfortunate. I would, I would like to be able to help her, um, but I guess let's have a look and see what she can, what she can kind of do for us. So let's have a look. Um, okay, so. Medicine is actually okay, all things considered, and her construction skills are okay. Her crafting is alright. It's not amazing, so she'll make poor quality things. Um, but, uh, yeah, I, I'm, not, I'm not, honestly not quite sure what, what we will be able to use her for. Might be able to use her for growing, when we can. Um, you know, we're actually going to put her to for doctoring, because um, I hope she's pretty decent at it. Uh, we'll put you as number one for controlling. Um, she's only three on cooking, so she'll make quite bad quality meals. Um, whether or not that's a thing, I don't. I don't know. Like, um, let's have a quick look. Simple meal. Simple meal. I don't know if you can screw up cooking. Now that I think about it, maybe it's just a faster process. So we'll put cooking one. We'll put Logan on two for cooking. So he's going to be doing other things before he does that. Um, let's see. <laughs> yeah. I think that's probably how we'll leave it for now. Just because... She doesn't get around very fast. At all. Like, at all. Because she's not all there. Which is really sad. And I wish there was something that we could do to help fix that. But I think with the current technology that we have available to us, there isn't a lot that we can do. Um... Yeah, so there's an old gunshot from an improvised turret gun that she got. So, I don't know if we've actually fought her before. Maybe we have, and she was injured then. And, um, yeah. Ouch. Oh, so she's actually marked as a hunter. Um, we don't want her hunting. Yeah, we'll take that off. <laughs> yeah. Because, um... I think pretty much what she'll be able to do is wake up, maybe make some meals, and then go to sleep. I don't think there's going to be a hell of a lot else she can do, which is really unfortunate. Um, oh, I forgot about poor Dave. <laughs> poor Dave. He was already dead. Oh, sorry, and Andy, rather, not Dave. Um, yeah. Leon, go, uh, go sort him out. Yeah, so I think that his pod must have exploded um, on the way down. The uh, poor sod was taken out. Um, I think we should claim these now. We've had them out there for long enough. Make them our own. I think it's probably about time that we look at um, increasing our defenses here. So we've got more than enough metal stashed away. Let's um, let's look at doing it. So we're going to go for our security. We're going to go for, oh, alert speaker. Ah, we need an integrated circuit board to be able to do that. Let's, let's do that. Let's, let's get that because, um, it'd be quite cool being able to activate that. Uh, Nick, what are you doing? You're researching. Work on that for now, mate. Um, let's see. I want to actually change that so that your research is three, crafting is two. There we go. Dawn, just like that. Tico is trying really hard. <laughs> You're doing a good job, Tico. Tikoi. Did we gonna call it Tikoi? Tikoi or Tico? 
I guess it's Tikoi, but I've been calling her Tiko so far. We're going to stick with Tiko. I know that's not exactly how it's pronounced. Um, it's probably Tikoi. But um, we're going to go for Tiko just because that's what we've been calling her so far. Um, we've got an integrated circuit, so we will be able to build one of the alert speakers. Um, let's chuck it in. In, 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 in. Nowhere, because it can't be built. Must be built against near a wall. That's a wall. What else do you want from me? That's a wall. <laughs> what else? Oh, does it need to be built inside? No. Alert speaker must be built near a wall. That's a bloody wall. I don't know what else you want from me. Um, I'm confused. Call me confused because I'm confused. What the hell? Alert speaker must be built near a wall. Wall. Conduit wall. Wall. Says wall. So why won't you go there? I'm confused by this. Rather confused. Alright, guess we're not building that for now. Go back to the original plan. Um, so I was going to chuck another two here, which I know might be extreme. Um, it's going to use a decent amount of metal to get those going up and running. Um, but a lot of the traffic seems to come through here. So I think just having the extra layer of um, protection will help us. We'll probably stagger them as well. So we'll have another set back here and then probably have another set over that way as well. Um, oh, look, our wood is all frozen over. But again, nothing grows, so that's good. It's helping us out. And yeah, I mean, I guess the landscape has really changed out here. I didn't have a good look at it the last time, but we are fully whited out now. Steel metal boots. Uh, I want to make sure that no one is suffering from a heat stroke like before, like poor Nick was. Um, I guess you won't when you're outside. What are your thoughts, by the way? Very tired. Oh, you're actually helping by planting the plants. See, I think this is where um, Tico is going to be helpful, just keeping the kind of the, the morale of the place up. Um, and, you know, maybe it's going to be good for her as well, because she's probably had a very hard life. So, yeah, uh, I just wish there was something we could do for that. But, you know, an injury to the brain is, uh, well, you can't really fix that without completely changing who that person is. Unfortunately. But she will be a welcome member of the community, regardless. And, you know, we, we're not going to set that as medical. We'll just have them blank for now. Um, oh, that's been mined out. That's good. Okay, we need to get that hauled. Oh, sorry, I just lost my train of thought. Just completely went... I wonder if it'll be good for someone to have grenades, because uh, I wonder how much your shooting is taken into account when it comes to grenades. I should probably grab those sooner rather than later. <laughs> Still a little sniffly. Just. Alright, let's have a look. Production. We're going to want to chuck down a stonecutter's table in there. And, you know what, let's look at going... Chucking a door as well. Let's see. Actually, do we want a door? Because I don't think they're going to get cold when they're out here. They're pretty well... Oh, it depends if the temperature drops more than that. If it drops more than that, we will... Let's chuck a door down. It's actually, it's not going to slow them down by too much, I think. Okay. Let's just go for a wooden door for now. Uh, and it doesn't need to be an auto door. There we go. Um, I'm trying to think. We, could, we probably could put a heater in there, but I think it's going to be a little bit irrelevant. Alright, you're off and about. Tico is still planting that plant, I think. Or at least changing it out. Trying to. Something like that. A 
The Lurkin's planting some others. Are, are you trapped there? Like, you should go and eat, but I think it's taking you ages to, uh, to plant that. So, you know what? I'm going to take you off growing. Yeah. And I'm actually just going to draft you and tell you to move away from there. She needs to go and eat. She's really, really hungry and super, super tired, but poor girl's just been trying to um, plant this plant. I'm going to have to watch out for her. She's going to get herself in trouble. Exhaustion. Yeah. Jeez. Um, I'd like to get that alert speaker working, but I don't think I'm going to be able to. Unless I'm just like got the got it round the wrong way. It looks like it's meant to go out that way. Like that would make sense to me. Maybe it's just not registering that type of wall for some reason. Like it doesn't like granite walls. Does it need to be a metal wall? Is it is it that picky? Must be built near a wall. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it does need to be a metal wall for some weird, strange reason. Those will have a pretty wide... I mean, this this will kind of overlap that way a little bit as well, but so far we've had them come from that way each time, although there was the one time that they landed down there and they were completely out of the range of the turrets, so there's a chance they could do that again, so... Obviously, I want to be ready for that kind of, uh, that eventuality. I could also just create another set of turrets along, along here as kind of a fallback point. So that, um, if they are going to come and try and attack these doors directly, they're going to have to deal with those turrets. Yeah, I mean, I could create like a shooting gallery of sorts kind of here. Maybe having sandbags in those places there. I might actually have a look at that. Let's see. Structure. No orders. We're going to mine out. It does mean that that area is going to be exposed to the cold, though, so I will have to make sure that I actually treat that properly. Yeah, so my idea is having like a sandbag there, sandbag there, and a sandbag up there, so. At least that's kind of what I'm thinking. I don't know if that'll work. Yeah, so, and I'll have to mine that out as well. Kind of like that, so that you can't directly get in, but you should be able to see through that and shoot out. That's what I'm hoping. Um, if that isn't the case, then I've just kind of stuffed around with things there. Yep, Tico's starving. Go eat. You should do those things before you do anything else, please. I don't want you to die, I'll feel terrible. Oh god, just please get to there in time to eat. Yeah, it, gosh, damn. Okay, she ate, great. Okay. What are you trying to do now? You, you're going to go and turn that off. Okay, that's good. You can do that. Um, and we will need to build a door here as well, so we're going to have a look. Make a proper door, make a steel auto door, and we'll chuck it. We'll chuck it. We'll actually, we'll do, we'll do a two-stage one again. We'll do one there, one there. And we'll have to roll, run some power between the two. Although in saying that, this outside one maybe shouldn't be a uh, auto door. Let's see, so I probably don't need that. Let's cancel that. Mark that for hauling. Okay, let's go. Just a regular steel door. I just reckon by the time she gets to do anything, she's going to be hungry and uh, need to go to sleep. Yeah, it's really unfortunate. Um, I wonder, is it better to have chunks there? Or is it better to have sandbags? Because I know you can hide behind the chunks. 
sandbags do have a little bit more to them though so yeah i'm gonna mark these for hauling get them out the way we're gonna build some sandbags there okay let's see security okay so we'll put sandbags like that so they can have a shooter there a shooter there a shooter there that's my thinking at least I only hope that that would work. Neil's going to go do some work. He's going to get that stuff out of the way. Tico is hauling some wood to somewhere. Oh, to build the door. Oh, am I building a wooden door somewhere? If I am, that's probably an accident. Steel auto door. Steel door. Oh, she's hauling it all the way out there. I feel a bit bad about that now. Um, so it's still doing okay for our power, even with these up and running. Should have another one up and running very soon as well. I haven't heard this track before. At least I don't think I have. I like it. It's good, it's good. Um, oh, shoot, I completely forgot. Grave, storage, humanoid corpses. Cannot haul. No empty place to store that. Even though there is. Ah, oh, damn. Maybe if I quickly turn it off. So if I turn off strangers' corpses very quickly. Oh, you're kidding me. Okay, we'll turn strangers' corpses back on. Because it seems that we have bigger worries to concern ourselves with. Dealing with that, first of all, would be very, very good. Where is everybody? Leon, you're out here. Okay, we've got one up and running. Okay, this episode might run a little bit longer, as we're going to deal with this attack this time. So a group of tribespeople from Born Menino. So we've, de we've dealt with them before. They're going to be attacking soon, but... Oh wow, there's a lot of them as well. I've got Jebear, we've got Banastra, Lair, Pelican, another Banastra, Ian. Ian? <laughs> Just, hey, I'm Ian the Botanist. And we've got Kuro. Um, so, they could be trouble. We've got a few ranged, and we've got a few... Yeah, I don't know if you have anything. You're a digger. That's concerning. What do you do? How do you dig? Do you dig under walls? Okay. Right. So. We've got a little bit of time. I'm going to hope that... Let's see. Leon, where are you? You're there. Can you get this up and running? It's being reserved by Nick. Nick, what are you doing? You're grabbing steel from all the way up there. I can actually see. Oh, there. Okay. Where are they? So you're actually kind of a little bit close to words where they are i swear there's still closer than that mate maybe we have hauled it all by now yeah it looks like we have shit so i think these require steel as well yeah only a small amount of steel but they still require steel logan i'd rather that you make those for now <laughs> can you not use the, that steel there or is that being used by someone else now oh my gosh really you're going to go all the way up there. There we go. That's better. Okay. Construct them. Because at least we've got that door there now, which is good. I'm going to have to babysit them. Okay. Leon? Okay, you're just hauling that stuff back. That's okay. I'm alright with that. Nick, you've got the metal. That's good. He's heading back. He's going to try and get the turret running in time. Logan, where are you going now? I think you're collecting, you're hauling steel to sandbags for building. Shit. I thought we'd have enough. If we don't, it's not the end of the world. I can live with just having those there. I definitely want you to get inside now. Yeah, so you do that. Um, I don't want the others to be stuck outside when this is going down. How far does Logan need to go? 
quite a way still. Shit. And if they start attacking, yeah, could be trouble. Okay, Nick is going to start construction. Finish that first before you build the wooden door. I oh, do you need more steel. Shit. Okay, where's that pistol? How far up? Not that far. Okay, good. It's probably better that these weapons aren't lying about. Don't know if they'll just pick them up straight away, but there's a chance that they might. Okay, Nick's got the middle in time. That's good. Should be able to get back. Okay, come on, dude. You can do this. Please don't tell me you need more. Okay, no, you can construct... Oh, you do need more? Holy shit. Okay, so he's going to be quite hungry. Not great. Uh, there's another pistol out here as well. Tico, I just want to stay inside. She's still heading inside to get a meal. My gosh. Oh, man, this is not working out well for her. Yeah, she's... Oh, shit, they're beginning their assault. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's pause. Logan, where are you? You're in bed. Great. Nick, you're heading back. Is he going to be able to get that constructed in time? Maybe not. Leon, I need you to get inside as well. So we're going to get you. Oh, no, no, we don't want to go full speed. Okay. Leon, come inside here. Nick, are you going to be able to make it? Maybe. Maybe. Logan, I need to get you up. Oh, he's stressed. That's great. That's the last thing we needed. He's already stressed. Um, maybe I don't need to rush him there. There's a chance that our turrets will just take care of it. Um, let's see. We'll give him a chance to rest for a little bit longer. I don't think there's any chance that Tico is just going to run outside. Because he's exhausted, so next thing she should do is head straight to bed. Please tell me that you can just construct it. Come on. They're coming. Quickly, Nick. Okay, good. That's a good start. Oh, crap. You're kidding me. Come on. Shit. Okay, no, no. You just need to run. Come on. Shit. Get it. Get it going, get it going, get it going, get it going. Come on. Yes. Now get the hell out of there. Okay. Oh, shit. Get there. Logan. Get there. Okay. They're both dead. That's good. I think getting the extra turret was a really, really good idea. But now the problem is, is that the turrets... Don't have the range to deal with that. Shit. That's a problem. And they're just going to get blown up. I didn't think of that. And the turret is probably going to blow up. And it's going to blow up the other turrets. Shit, shit, shit. Okay, Logan. Need you outside. Oh, that's going to blow. And it blew up the others. Wow. Okay. We're getting taken to town here. Not great. Not good at all. Holy shit. Okay. Not the end of the world. We can still do this. What are they doing? Oh, they're going after the other turret. Okay, there's a chance that Logan might be able to flank them here. They seem to know that Logan's there, though. Yeah, they do. Okay. Okay, okay. We just need to scare them off. Okay, I wonder how their range is versus the survival rifle. Nah, surely they can't outrange it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Can you get a shot on them? Yes, you can. Good. Poor mood. Nick. Yep. Okay, yep. Yeah, sorry. Sorry, dude. Okay, you... Rest and heal. How bad is it? Oh, fuck. Not great. Leon can probably treat him. Uh, I'm going to get him to stand by the medicine. And be ready as soon as he jumps in the bed. Logan's actually been injured now as well. Yep, he's received a cut from the great bow. He can probably back off now. 
because he should have better range on them. Oh, shit. Not good, not good, not good. Okay, good shot, good shot. Keep it up, Logan. Come on, buddy, you got this. Yes! That's what I'm talking about. All right, take another step forward. You in range? Almost. That's it, that's it. Come on, you got him. Damn, he's bleeding out. Blood on the snow. They're fleeing. Ah, let them flee. Actually, you know what? Fuck them, don't let them flee. Finish them off. <laughs> I think he's going to get away, though. Turret, you going to do anything else there? Logan, can you... No. No, you need to get into bed. Okay, Nick is in a bad way. Okay, slow things down. Leon, you're probably freezing your ass off in there. Sorry, buddy. Okay, so, undraft you. Treat Nick. Okay, Leon is not a doctor, but you're going to become a doctor. You've got just as much experience as Logan, so... Actually, Tico could do it. But the only problem is, is that Tico is very, very slow. Leon. Okay, I think you need to feed Nick, because I think he's, like, desperately hungry. Let's have a look. Yep, he's very, very hungry. Okay. Logan, come inside. Okay, we survived. Just. And I learned a valuable lesson. Great bows have a greater range than the turrets, and I think we just wasted a great deal of metal on them as well, because um, if we have a look here, it's just scrap, which is such a freaking pain. Actually, th no, there's metal there. That's good. So I can only hope that I'll be able to recycle some of that at least. Um, but for the time being, we are very, very much undefended. <laughs> okay, prioritize trading neck. He needs help and fast because he is still freaking. He's got a crack in his left femur. It's not good. Okay. But at least he's not super hungry, but he was close to breaking just because he was rather upset. Okay. We are going to be running very, very low on medicine after this. Yeah, zero percent chance of good quality. Not a chance in hell. Exhaustion, Leon. Yep, I know you're exhausted. Just get him treated. Heat stroke. Fucking heat stroke again because it's too bloody hot in here. Okay. Is there any way you can treat? Are you gonna start treating Logan? Let's see. Yeah, that's done for now. We're going to drop the temperature by 10 degrees in here. Because I don't want to leave a fucking heat, heat stroke in there in, in, in here as well. Oh, dude, get the fuck back into bed. What are you doing? Why is he getting up? Don't get up to build a freaking steel auto door. Rest your... God damn. Okay, so I think what I need to do there is turn patient up. So I'm going to turn them all on to <laughs> top priority. If you're injured, go get healed. Okay. Leon really needs to sleep or else he's going to wolf out. We don't want that. Yeah, he's pretty much going to... He's getting close to breaking. He's starving. Okay, just treat Logan really fast. He's suffering from blood loss and... He's got cuts. So we're going to be, we're left with one thing of medicine after this. Yeah, so he's exhausted, but he needs to eat before he goes to sleep or else he's going to starve. Tico's actually 
trying to bring some food though so it's helping so yeah he actually started getting he started dying there because he was so hungry oh look at that cluster of cargo pods what did it have in it cloth well it's better than nothing i suppose better than nothing and after that tico is the only one left standing leon was starving and exhausted nick he's been injured quite severely logan has been injured quite severely as well the plan i had fell apart it would seem looks like i'm into to uh reevaluate how my things out here sit um yes it probably wasn't the best idea putting them all together like that they need to have a gap between them otherwise explosion radius is too large and terrible things happen and they did happen oh dear so Tico is now left wandering the halls by herself as everyone else is starting to recover and I hope that they do this has been a really rough rough period for us and here's fingers crossed that things might start to get better but until then, stay tuned.